Welcome to Talk Back, the show where you talk back to us. My name is Gil Smart, and we still don't have a budget here in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania State Senate passed an $11 billion short-term spending plan last week, but Governor Wolf has promised to veto it. Governor Wolf has his own budget, of course, which has gone exactly nowhere. And back in June, the Republican-dominated legislator uh, passed a $30.2 billion no-new-taxes spending plan, uh, which Wolf shot down. The GOP immediately accused Wolf of trying to leverage the fiscal pain that a lack of a budget inflicts upon those uh, who rely on state aid. But Wolf says the GOP spending plans would shortchange education and human services, deepen a long-term budget deficit, and let, a nat let the natural gas industry off the hook. With both sides blaming each other, we wanted to find out what you thought. We asked readers which side they believe deserves the blame. George Evans said, Governor Wolf knew what he would face when he ran for governor. Once he won, he's not working with the will of the people in the House and Senate. He needs to immediately work with the Republicans and get the budget passed that the voters asked to be approved. He can't be a, quote, lone wolf. Michelle Vanita Lagrasa said, I blame all parties involved. It's about compromise, and neither side is willing to look at the bigger picture. They are all acting like children, not getting their way. I think it's time to clean house. If I didn't do my job for four months, I would have been fired long ago. What makes this any different? Disgusted. And Bonnie Rohr says, I blame the state house and Senate. They are just like U.S. legislators. They will not agree with anything of the opposite party, and that's that. Do not forget these things on election day. Everything is so partisan, especially with the Republicans and their hateful agendas. What do you think? Share your thoughts about the state budget and the, the impasse in our comments below. My name's Gil Smart for Talkback here on LNP.